Hey everybody, it's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's LEGO Robotics. Well, if you saw yesterday's video, I told you I would show you how to put um, messages, uh, writings, pictures on your EV3 brick. So here we go. Um, I'm going to do three types of um, basic image uh, inserts on your EV3 brick. One is going to be that you can actually type this in. So Happy New Year, guys. And then another one's going to be... Uh, writing and the other one's going to be a picture like I've showed you guys before so let's go ahead and go to our Lego EV3 software for each one of these three here we go okay everybody I'm on my Lego EV3 software here and I just opened up a blank template here for a program so let's go ahead and go to the first one here and well actually let's get to the place where we can actually put the images on. So we're going to go up here to your tools. We're going to go to image editor and it will pull up the image editor template here. So it depends what you want to do and we'll go ahead and start with uh, just the writing part. So right now I can go to my pencil here and I can just basically with my finger here on the touchpad of my laptop I can just write my name or anything here I want to write okay so we're gonna start with just the writing here so whatever you want to write uh, what's kind of cool is it will show you here what the what your EV3 screen will look like and basically what I can, there's several ways I can save this. I'm just going to hit close. I definitely want to save this. And it will ask you for your name so that when we look up the file, we can find it. So I think I already have a Mr. Hino file. So I'll actually, I'll just call it that. And then we click OK. All right. So now what we want to do is put that into a program. So here what, here's what we'll do. We'll go to the green tabs and we will go ahead and pull up a display block. And that was called Mr. Hino right there. And there is what it'll look like. And then uh, what we want to do, because uh, this is a time sensitive issue here, we're going to put a wait block. And basically this is going to tell us how long it will stay on um, the brick. So yeah, let's just put 10 seconds and there, there you have it. So all I have to do now is, you know, if I plug in my USB cord, I can just play that to see how that would look, or I can actually come down here and download it. So, um, I'll wait until everything's done for me to download everything. Let's now go to, um, putting in a picture. Okay, so now let's go ahead and upload a picture to our EV3 brick, an actual photograph. So we're going to still come up here to Tools, Image Editor. What I want to do is click this open folder right here in this upper left. And I already had um, my serious picture robot ready. So it'll go to whatever your desktop or folder you have your picture in. So we just go ahead and click it. And it puts the picture right on here. Um, if you want to uh, zoom in or zoom out, use these uh, magnifying glasses right there. Um, you can move it side to side. I kind of like it where it is right there. Then you'll click Next. And it will basically show you what it's going to look like. Uh, come over here, and this will allow you to basically uh, adjust the contrast. So. I'm going to leave it like that. I'll click next. And that's again, how it will appear on the EV3 brick. So like we did with um, the writing, I'm going to go ahead and hit close. I'm, I do want to save this. This is the Sirius robot. So I'll just call it Sirius. Click OK. So everything's going to be the same like it was for the writing part. We just come here to display. And we're going to find Sirius and they give you a picture of what it'll look like. And then like before, we will put a wait block. 
and we'll run that for 10 seconds. So uh, again, before, if you just want to see the picture, just play it. If you want to actually have it be a part of a program, then we will come down here and then download it. So um, I guess I'll go ahead and download it since it's plugged in right now. All right, so now let me go ahead and delete this. And now for the last part, um, just for typed letters. So here we go. We'll go back to our image editor. So if you want to type something here, we'll just click text. Um, you can decide between style one and two. And then what we want to do is you just click and you can now type in what you want. Um, you know, you can change the uh, boldness of the lettering, but just for sake of time, I'm going to leave it like this. Okay, so we have uh, Mr. Hino here on our screen again. And what we're going to go ahead and do is close this out. We'll save that. I think I already have a file called Mr. Hino, so I'll just put M Hino like that. Click OK. And then like before, we will bring up our display block. It's called M, you know, there it is right there. And then like before, we will need that weight block and we'll just put that on for 10. So I'm going to go ahead and download this. And uh, let's go to the EB3 brick where I can show you all three of them. All right, so let's go back to the brick. Okay, everybody, I'm back on the brick just to show you what it looks like on the real EV3 brick here. So this M Hino was just the last one I did with the text. So there is the Mr. Hino in text. There is the Sirius Robot. And then there should be, no, that's the picture I had before. There's the Happy New Year, the one that I typed out. There is the first one I did, the drawing one. So there's the three different types of uh, images you can put on here with the image editor. So it's kind of neat just to be able to transfer things that you do on your computer onto your EV3 brick here. All right, guys, I hope you found that was interesting, educational, exciting. It is kind of fun to mess around with that. All right, guys, um, hopefully you're still having a great new year. I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I am out.